Rocky. Shh. Um, as what we said yesterday, with volume, it would be pretty much more straightforward than surface area because then we're given um, a straightforward formula. Okay, so the only thing that you'd have to figure out would be which one to replace. If we're given the diameter and we need the radius, we need to halve it. Okay, if the if the cylinder would be drawn this way and it's upright or your cross section would be on the bottom, then obviously that's your height. But if it's this way here, right? So this is the cross section. This is the height of your cylinder, okay? So those are just um, the ones that would probably be tricky um, when we talk about volume of cylinders and spheres, okay? Or any volume formula. It's really figuring out from the figure that you're given, um, which one, you would need to replace to fit into your formula and for you to figure out the correct answer. Okay, so let's have a look at um, an example here. Well, what we said from yesterday for any right prism, I was confused whether to pick up this pen or this pen. Um, when we are calculating the volume of any prism, that would just be volume of a h, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's the area of the cross section multiplied by the height, height of the prism, okay? But if it's a cylinder, then what we have as our cross section is obviously a circle. And for us to figure out the area of the cir circle, it's pi r squared. Um, and then multiply that by <clears throat> H, and therefore the volume of any cylinder is equal to pi R squared H, right? And that's why that's your formula that you're given here. Okay, does that make sense? Is it easy to remember? So it's still a H. We didn't change anything or we didn't introduce anything new, right? But it's just that, we just need to replace the area, the formula for the area of the circle, which is um, pi r squared. Okay, so the formula for the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. It says here that a cylinder has a radius of eight millimeters and a height of 12 millimeters. Find the volume of the cylinder. Answer correct to decimal places. So pretty much straightforward here, right? So you would need to have um, volume formula equals um, pi r squared h. Obviously, r here would be 8, and the height here would be 12, okay? And if you plug in all those given, then using your calculator, you should get 2,412 point something something, okay? As you know, pi would be um, non-terminating um, decimal, and therefore you will get a non-terminating answer as well. So you would need to look at the problem um, as to how many um, decimal places you'd need to write it down into, okay? So if it says to two decimal places, then write it to two decimal places. And again, with volume, you would have what? Um, cubic millimeters as the unit, okay? So any unit would have to be cubed for volume, okay? Now, very interestingly, um, I will, you've got there another example, which is an annulus um, problem, right? So for pipes, wherein you would have a, what, a cylinder and it would be hollow inside, then that's the formula you will have to use. Right, so A equals pi R squared minus R squared, okay? You can also just use, you just minus the um, volume of those two. You could also just use what? Pi R squared minus pi small r squared H. And what that means is that you will have to use the um, radius of the biggest circle and then here, the radius of the smaller circle, and you should end up with the same answer, okay? And that's that's the same thing as the process here, 
Okay, so you can use this formula. Try this problem using this formula and let me know if you get the same answer. Okay, all right. Now, interestingly, what we have would be a sphere. So a sphere um, wouldn't be a prism, wouldn't be a cylinder. Um, but what we've got here, um, and apologies that it's in inches, I was lazy in um, looking for one that would be in meters, um, because I do want this other um, diagram as well um, next to it, okay? So um, that's the radius would be three inches and the diameter of that sphere would be six inches, right? Now, when we have a cylinder, right, which would have the same height as this sphere, right? That means this is six inches as well, that the radius would also be three inches, okay? When that happens, right, and if you fill this, um, this sphere with water and this cylinder with water, and you pour, I know not this with water, that's empty, and you um, fill this up with water, and you pour that water into this tank, into this cylinder, what happens, what you will notice is that um, the water would be two thirds full, or it will fill up the cylinder two thirds full, okay? So keep that in mind, because then, if we are to figure out um, the area, the volume formula for the sphere, and remember it doesn't have a height, right? So we can just say that for spheres, when we have the volume, it's two thirds of the volume formula of a cylinder, okay? So we can just plug that in. We say pi, um, what? r squared h, okay? But we've got a h here, but we don't actually have a h. But what do we know about um, h? How is that related to our radius? We can say, because that's a diameter, that's the height, that's the same as this one, correct? So that's actually your diameter. So you could say that h is actually 2r, right? So if you replace H, let me make that bigger so I can highlight. If you replace H with 2R, then you would have V equals 2 thirds pi, pi R squared times by 2R. Yes, correct. And therefore, you could say if you multiply the numbers together, two thirds times two would just give you four thirds, and then you have pi, and then you have r cubed. And hence, we have our formula for the volume of um, what our sphere, which is what is written here. Okay, so it's not just magic. Um, that these mathematicians, mathematicians are doing, right? But they are derived from these known formulas, okay? So that they would be able to come up with formulas for other um, cooler, um, what, figures, okay? So this is now our formula for the volume of a sphere, okay? If it's a hemisphere, then you would just need to have to halve it, right? So if you have four thirds, then that would just become two thirds pi r cubed, okay, for the volume. Um, and pretty much it's straightforward, just replace your radius, right? Seven meters is the radius, replace that here and use your calculator to find the volume of that sphere, okay? Looking at this hemisphere here, what you have there or what you're given there would be the diameter, right? So you've got 3.5 meters for the diameter. Um, you'd need to just halve it to figure out your radius, okay? And half of 3.5 is 1.75 and just plug that in, okay? So maybe um, what others would probably forget to do is to use their cube button. It is on your calculator, so that's that's where it is over there. OK, 
okay? So make sure that you use those buttons that are available on your calculator, okay? Yes, and then make sure that you write an answer into the correct decimal places. All right, see you guys, bye. Come on, Rocky, let's go.